Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Golfing the Villages. Tonight we're featuring a twilight round at one of our southern courses known as Lowlands. Lowlands is located at 5197 Marsh Bend Trail and this great little course features two par 4s. Rumor has it the developer was trying to squeeze an extra par 4 in somewhere but couldn't quite get it to work. The course ranges in yardage from 1,075 playing at the forward friendly tees up to 1,600 from the tips. Tonight we're playing the gold tees located in the middle. Bill and Karen joined us tonight and they were a wonderful couple who I really enjoyed playing with. I should mention the course is rated as a level 2 on the executive rating scale of 1 to 4. If you recall from our videos before, 1 is the easiest and 4 is the hardest. Lowlands is one of the most popular executive courses on the south side of the villages, so it does get a lot of play. Additionally, Lowlands hosts both men's and ladies, ladies' days during the week, which is a scramble format with a point system. There is also a closest to the pin contest, but I'm not sure what the prize is. Perhaps one of my fellow villager viewers might drop a comment and share some of that insight with us. A fun fact about Lowlands is that after you play the course, you end up finishing up in the parking lot for Edna's on the Green. There you'll typically find uh, it to be a great place to stop and grab a, uh, some grub or a cold beverage after the round. Alright, before we get started, I wanted to thank everyone for the likes, subscribes, comments, and shares. It really helps to grow the channel, and it really validates all the hard work which makes all this possible. I really enjoy bringing you Village's Golf content, so thank you. Without further ado, Let's get after it. Here we are at the first tee, playing 133 center. 140 to the pin. This is 9-iron. Little, Little thin strike, bleeding out to the right, but on the green. All right, so we definitely have a makeable look here. Thinking birdie all the way. Couple of hops and bobbles, not gonna get it done. Bouncy. Tap in, yeah. but we'll start with a par. Four over to hole number two, the first of our two par fours. Uh, it is playing 311 yards to the center of the green. And uh, there's a couple of different clubs I could take, but this here is a four iron. Oh. Really terrible strike. Um, wasn't trying to hit a stinger. Yeah but kind of hit a heel stinger to the left. So tonight, we actually are giving you something a little different. On the par four, um, giving you a little ride up to the ball so you can see what it's like on some of these par fours that play on these executive courses. Uh, this one, you can see the cart path ends here. And uh, really, what I try to do is stay in the rough, drive down as far as I can, although you don't really see too much difference between the rough and the fairway cut. I really should have 90 degreed, probably over from the palm tree in the bush there. But I did take a little liberty here uh, to drive up to the ball and you see where we find ourselves. All right, so this is a comfortable yardage for me, 115 yards. Uh, I'm staring down gap wedge. I feel like I can hit this green all day. Uh, this should be close. Well, I spoke a little too soon. <laughs> A little long and a little bit out to the right so we just missed the green um, we'll see that in just a moment again this is the second part of going down the fairway I try to get myself over to the rough until we pick up that cart path and I try to be real considerate when I'm driving the cart uh, I try to pull up as far as I can to allow you know the, the people behind us uh, there are the carts behind us to also uh, get in the shade and, and <laughs> be in a nice spot so here's our birdie bid, and it goes woefully under hit. Um, you know, we've been struggling a little bit with the putter recently. Um, really not hitting a lot of them solid out of the center of the face. Something I really need to focus on. And that one there, oh, I wanted, but not to be, so we're gonna take a bogey on that hole. All right now, and heading over to the third hole, the second of our par fours. Playing 228 to the center of the green kind of plays like a really big par three. Uh, I've played this hole a few times now and uh, still find there's a couple of different ways to play it. Uh, I was a little hesitant on what to do. I decided here on a six iron 
and I'm aiming just to the right of the tree. So let's see how this one works out. Yep, gorgeous strike. High, long, straight. Really couldn't see it finish, but I knew it was good. It does kind of want to go downhill there. So something I was cognizant of. So here is a look at driving down the fairway. And you can see pretty much right in the mayor's office, uh, right where I want to be. Have a really good look at this flag. All right, so 41 yards to the pin. Uh, pretty easy shot here, I would think, with the 62 degree lob wedge. I'm actually trying to drive this one in low. I don't want it to come out high and soft. So I'm trying a little something different on it. And it seems like I hit the toe and maybe a little touch fat. Um, worst part is I compounded the error by putting it in the bunker. So I've left that here. Uh, it's a little bit below my feet. I'm taking my 56 degree sand wedge, digging in. I'm making sure I get all that weight on the left side. I'm trying to stay real stable. Uh, not too difficult to shot. I want to keep the speed up. Oh, and I just blast it so didn't hit, I actually didn't hit it fat enough uh, hit it too good too much ball and so I'm left with this to try to save par oh and that was it's like a carnival game that was a lot of hills a lot of breaks there so I've got this now for bogey and in the hole all right back to back bogeys That'll burn you. Hole number four, playing 123 to the center of the green, 125 pin, and this is gap wedge. High and flared it out to the right. Actually going to miss the green short. Short and right. All right, so this next shot, we're going to set up an, a bump and run, but I actually used no body, all arms, and that was a really terrible example of what... Uh, or actually a really good example of what not to do. <laughs> uh, and I've got this now for par. Oh, and I just burned the edge. It just bobbled on me. So now this for three bogeys in a row. That is a bogey train. So we want to get off that as quick as possible. Next hole, number five, is 104 center. 103 pin. Again, electing for the gap wedge. Okay, strike. Actually, a little short. Um, and But it's on the putting surface. And uh, this for birdie. Now, you won't be able to see the hole. It's not in frame. Uh, I have to get it to the hole. And since the flag is not in, it's about three feet. Three and a half feet short. Okay. This for par in the hole. All right, we drive over to number six. It is playing 139 center, 107 pin. So the pin is up front. Re-electing for that gap wedge. I feel like I could get this close. All right, this is the strike and flight I want. Coming in all over the pin, it actually bounces short of the green rolls back a little yeah, bit to here where I'm actually deciding whether or not I want to chip it or putt it. It's pretty predictable in front, so I did do decide to go with the putter here. I could have chipped it. Then you see the bobbles there. I could have taken that all out by chipping it, which probably would have been the better decision. Um, so this now for par. And it's just hopping and bobbling, and that's going to be another bogey. All right, over to the number seven T, playing 108 center, 133 to the pin. It's actually a back left pin, really good if you'd like to draw the ball. Uh, my start line is actually that one tall palm tree. That's my start line, and I'm trying to draw it off that. Really good strike. It's all over the palm tree. Doesn't actually draw. Uh, just sits. Actually end up hitting a straight shot. Got a pretty decent look here for birdie. I'm working hard, working yeah. hard. Oh. No, nope. oh. missed it on the low side. On Poor speed control. Definitely so I'm hoping to tap this in for a par. Yep, good par. Now over to number eight, playing 101 center, 111 pin. 
And this is Gap Wedge. Perfect strike. Shot of the night all over the pin. Painted it. Begging for it to go. And we are three feet three feet for Birdie. Yes, Birdie too. Thank you. All right, so we are burning daylight here. We are on the ninth hole, playing 129 to the center, 119 pin. I believe this is pitching wedge. And I actually can't even see the flag. And I really can't even see the ball land, but it is right and short. Uh, the camera doesn't really show how dark it is, uh, so it's it's getting pretty dark. I have got a carnival game of a putt here, and you can just see hopping, bobbling. There's a big hill. I almost really probably should have chipped it. Ah, and there's Karen. Karen with a uh, three putts in a row. Shout out to her. Uh, three pars in a row, excuse me. Uh, she was making putts all over the place the last three holes, so it was really nice to see that. Uh, this is my par putt, which is a nervous one. Down the hill, does not break, too much pace, rolls out. Got this for bogey. Oh, gosh. Double me right at the end. All right, so that's going to do it for this look at Lowlands. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was getting real dark, but had a real blast. Uh, it was great to play with uh, Bill and Karen. Uh, they were super fun. Uh, they didn't mind the recording, which was great. And we just we had a good time. We were laughing, and it just reminds me why I love this game. Uh, you know, all the people I get to meet uh, and play with, and uh, everyone's just looking to have a good time and have fun. And, um, and that's what it's all about at the end of the day. So I'm hoping that is coming through on these videos. But anyway, uh, thank you again for uh, joining us. And I hope you are enjoying this content. Please do, uh, you know, like, subscribe, uh, share the content with your friends. And uh, until next time, we'll see you on the golf course.